Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. It's time for more Cold War era. Indonesia, slash, now also China. So I got a mod that allows me to freely incorporate or disincorporate states. Can't do that. I won't actually use it. Uh, you know, uh, to like freely incorporate states. It's just going to be for after the Chinese revolt. I'm not granting the Chinese who didn't revolt citizenship. Get bent. <laughs> but that's okay. Alright. But yeah, I'm looking into uh, how best to handle our situation here. Because we are still in fairly desperate need of additional meat. Aren't we? Yeah, we need more meat, we need more wood, we need more intellectual property. Well, let's see what we can do here, eh? Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Advanced hydroelectrics, let's go. I wonder what wiretapping would actually do for us. You know? It, it actually, like, ha seemingly has no benefits. It's one of the weird things about it. Ah. And that's the thing. I have no idea. Like, it shows no benefit, so... As far as I can tell, there is none. Alright, hydrogen bomb, massive stockpile, nuclear bomber, ICBMs, check. Missile system, high density, yep, yep, yep. Okay. Let's hope that helps a little. I swear I did, like, reset production methods on everything, but it seems like it has not taken. You know? I have a feeling it's related to... I want the merchant guild. That's a toughie. And it's always kind of a problem. Is do I want to accept the urban middle class as my democratic opposition? Because that could be very useful. Because sometimes I might actually want to move certain laws towards democratic. You know? Mm -hmm. Sometimes. I mean, honestly, having a powerful judiciary, I'm not against. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, the armed forces are weak again. That's actually, I guess, not that surprising. I mean, honestly, maybe moving to military ownership of... Yeah, you know... They're talking about, like, oh, yeah, I definitely want the, the friggin', uh, yeah. No, this makes way more sense. Military ownership of the rural uh, buildings, because, like, realistically, I don't need the uh, rural elites at all. They really aren't that useful to me. No more so than the military anyway, so might as well. Alright, yeah, let's just go simple tools on. Well. I don't know about this. Honestly, I think I probably just want do want to go simple tools on this for now. We'll keep this all in here. Good lord. These will all want to be public, because I definitely still want a pretty decent capital class. Yeah. Like the capitalists at least, you know, invest. I think maybe, um, like the landlords invest a tiny bit, but not very much I don't think. 
you know? So I'm not super worried about them. find it farmers invest farmers invest yeah uh, oh yeah landlords will contribute a tiny bit the realistically it's fair to say I think almost all of our investment pool contributions come from the capitalists all right well let's purge the inactive trade routes Alright. So, I want to get to work on China. Or New Indonesia, if you will. And also, now that I've done all that, what's uh, the market look like? Well, apparently we're still short some of this. Which is kind of surprising, not gonna lie. I figured we would solve that, and somehow we're short coal. Who the fuck's buying coal? In this level. Industrial materials factories, yeah, fair enough. Alright, um, yeah, I mean, I can definitely extract more coal, it's not that big of a deal. Hang on, I was gonna say, Beijing has uh, the Kaiping coal field, right? There we are, 27 of those. Put it into the queue. with a plan. So, as a dictatorship, uh, I can declare a state of emergency. Now, this will importantly give me minus 50% decree cost. It'll also make 5% of my population radical, but honestly, who gives a crap? Uh huh, it's not war or a revolution. Yeah. I'll try and accept the court's order. If only because I have other things I need to deal with right now. No, I definitely don't think I need the resources. More than I need agriculture. Honestly, maybe it might be worth revisiting some of these provinces. Because I'm sure at least at least some of them this might be incorrect about. Because like out here, there's probably not a whole lot of arable land, but there is say a bunch of resources. No resources. Some remarkable amounts of arable land for Tibet. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, and from that, I will be allowed to then accept the court's judgment. Holy shit, I actually had enough authority to do that without pressing that button? Fuck, alright. That's a little expected. <laughs> I, I really didn't expect to come out of that one. You know? Alright, but either way, that's another 20% output in most of these, and actually brings us up to a neutral 0% output. Which is nice. Alright, so the rural upper class now should, for the most part, I think, kind of cease existing. And the armed forces should take their place. Especially as I continue to develop, like, all these livestock ranges. Which I now recognize I should do in specific areas first. Because, like, there's nothing else I can reasonably put in some of these areas, you know? Literally nothing. Looks like it's just those two. But still. Or this. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So, I mean, it's still good to do. Yeah. Trade rights. We literally import 43 friggin' thousand intellectual property. That is absurd. 
That is actually probably one of the biggest cruxes of our economy in general. Okay, we should all be on autonomous. Public company. And subsidized. Go. Right. Forgot about that one. Probably at least a few more things I'm forgetting. Mm -hmm. Alright. Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird to do, like, the whole, oh, just minimum things even in our home cut a home area but in all honesty i think it's worth it since we've kind of gotten rid of minimum wages now it's actually not too bad and like people can work you know since we've actually successfully banned trade unions oh lord 20 million yeah, fair enough All right. But yeah, our uh, GDP is now 10 billion as we continue to develop. Honestly, really, it's just a lot of livestock. We have enough now to start meeting our needs. So I kind of want to... It looks like, yeah, everywhere else is kind of not really exporting it to us anymore. Where are you even getting all this, Chile? Like... Tell me about your market. How how do you functionally have this much intellectual property to be exporting me? And also... There's way more than that coming in, isn't there? Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, all everyone else is importing it. I'm sanctioned to shit, but everyone else can and is importing it. Good. Glad to see. Glad to see. Ah, I love seeing zero radicalism. Segovina. Yeah, I wish. Yeah, we need to try and get our infamy level under Pariah, although that is pretty hard. I'd like to, like I said, I'd like to rejoin the international community. We're only at 245, so honestly, I think we can do it. So with that, that's good. Mm -hmm. So I just want to check to make sure you guys haven't like suffered a massive reduction in standard of living. You have actually. Oof. Well, I'll look into it. I, I guess honestly, yeah, that, no, that would make sense. Why you would. Because I did, uh, just, like, demolish your productivity in the fields. That's okay, though. Yeah. That is okay. Now, I'm hoping to have, like, honestly, a balanced meat market for too long. I'm pretty sure I already have, but in case I haven't... I definitely should be... Looks like I maybe kind of did. Uh, there was probably the revolution that got in the way. Yeah. 
That's good. That's angry people. Yeah, I like that I have minus 5.56 from political dysfunction, because there is something interesting here. The amount of excess that I have versus the amount that I actually do have, I wonder. Because, like, political dysfunction I get from uh, having negative authority. But I don't have negative. So the game is using two mathematical formulas in different places to determine my authority. That's the only way that can happen. Which also tells me something weird about the code, which is that you can actually calculate the authority yourself. To be fair, it might be... Yeah. It's Tunisia. Uh, I just get like extra sanctions. Oh, fuckers. <laughs> First, they slap on the political sanctions. Then, they slapped on the economic sanctions. Stupid UN. You know, if I'm going to try and get rid of the democratic opposition that is the urban middle class, I need to probably go for the throat with them. So there's the retail sector. That's where most of them comes from. Oh, shit, I can't do government run. Yeah, I've got public, but... Damn. Yeah, I can't do military run on uh, service sectors. That's right. I remember that now. Alright. So that should take care of coal a fair bit. I wonder. So I've never seen rye farms before. Anything special about them? Doesn't look like it. Which, yeah, that's fine. All right, well, let's make sure we get 250 rice farms here. Uh, how are we doing on intoxicants? For whatever reason, I can't see them. I think that's pretty easy symbol to see, too. Ah, oh, there we are. Yeah, I'm just blind. Yeah, we definitely need some more intoxicants. Yeah, we're having a shortage of intellectual property. What is my solution then to this? Because, like, I realistically can't continue this forever. You know? Like, well, one, apparently we're the number one producer worldwide. Go us. But yeah, it's just nowhere near enough. Like, I could try and integrate the Chinese a little bit more. That would be a thing. I don't know. On the plus side, we're about to hit smart cities, which will be good. Trade route created. Always good to see. Uh, yeah. I uh, import a tiny bit more intellectual property. Basically, any time we can, it seems like we do import the intellectual property. Which, honestly, I guess that is fair.
I don't think state religion would even be a good idea at this point, because, like, my state religion is Sunni. And I'm pretty sure... Yeah, there we are. And yeah, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of Sunnis. I guess as a way to get more wealth, there's the port infrastructure I can develop. And consider that. I mean, in general, I've got 40 pages of shit I'm building, so I'm not too worried. There's always going to be a need for more. Keep most of that pretty damn cheap. I mean, in general, Beijing still has 20 million unemployed. Like, I can still build these buildings. Actually, I wonder. Like, their wages would have to suck pretty bad for that to be worthwhile, but still. Yeah, that'll do. About 500 buildings there. Again, the goal is really just to get shit sorted. Our GDP per capita is now terrible, but really, I don't care. You know? Alright. So here's what I'm going to do. In my capital region, I think I'm going to uh, max out the automation on all my buildings. Yeah. Good lord, they take so much more IP. I guess that's the thing. So they're reducing the automation might not be a terrible idea in the end. They attempt to increase the standard of living here. This place actually should suffer some reduction of people. Because so I don't know, there's something in me that says get a province to a standard of living of 40. You know, it screams that within me. Ah, uh, Lord. Alright, so unfortunately it's the last of the logging camps. So that's like most of the wood I can produce. Which, in concept, actually kind of terrifies me. Ah, I guess since the PRC disappeared, you uh, can form the Republic of China. Because, fundamentally, that means there is no other market that should be anywhere capable of, like, coming near a lot of my production. Because I have, like, some pretty damn good forests. And don't forget, I have the tropics under my control. Yeah. And damn, this GDP is continuing to climb. Man, I'm gonna assume nobody in their right mind wants a goddamn customs union with me. Like, really, I don't blame them. Currency unions? Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I don't blame anyone for it. No one will let me take on their debt. Yeah. army power projection compared to ours. Yeah, apparently I have really shitty army power projection. And I don't know why. 
I actually, I yeah, I'm back down to number two somehow, uh, which is impressive, really. My power projection is eleven thousand. Nine thousand four hundred from America. What's Finland's army power projection? Ninety-one. So I'm actually assuming that the reason Finland won't accept that is because it's looped around, uh, and there's been integer overflow. Because that's the only fucking way that makes sense. And you can't convince me otherwise. <laughs> All right, so we got smart cities. As I say, smart cities, big deck. Uh, that's just a, another hard two to our standard of living everywhere. At least everywhere that has a city. That's always a trick, you know? Like, we've made living in cities a little bit more bearable. Our forces are Baton Assault 6.3, Royal Upper Class are irrelevant. Urban Middle Class. I actually am kind of thinking what I can do with them, right? Because I feel like there's got to be something. But maybe not. There might not actually be. Shit, we got a Radical of the Church. Nice. Yeah. Strong interest regs. Uh, strong financial regulations doesn't, yeah, just stops them from getting stronger. Interventionism doesn't give them anything. Like free speech only gives, doesn't take away. Uh, state schools, that's for civil service. State, yeah, as long as I don't go private. Service sector would be them, yep. Avoid that. Mm hmm. That would actually still be a reasonably stable government. Is our, our core inflation rate's negative 4%, so fair enough. Uh, 10.5 billion, it's actually climbing. Mm -hmm. Where am I gonna get more intellectual property? I don't wanna have to like actually integrate Chinese states. Like, I guess that's the thing. That is kind of my upper limit on a lot of the stuff I can do. You know? I just do not have enough universities. subsidizing those. I guess I really shouldn't be. I think the reason I subsidized those is because I just didn't want, uh, like, boss field power plants to be built at all. But, you know what? No. Response force, nice. And a curiosity. I was gonna say, I didn't think I could build more nuke silos out here. Because they're unincorporated. Alright, there is a Manchu secession. Honestly, I'd tempted to let it go.
Like, let there, let there be a Manchuria. I wonder. It's like, there's the concept of releasing subjects. I'm pretty sure I can't do Manchuria. But yeah. The Kingdom of China. I could free Tibet. And we could stop. Yeah, maybe. Although the rate at which... Yeah, but I don't think I can let these guys go. They're too, uh, too important. Same, honestly, with kind of the rest of Manchuria. Like, they are very resource-rich. You know? Well. There. Let's, uh, create a pile of government-backed jobs real quick. Two more weeks that uh, should begin to hire. In turn, of course, raising their standard of living. Because, yeah, if turmoil is low and 50%, the progress will be reduced. So we just need to keep the, we just need to get the turmoil down a little bit. Which, you know, doesn't take long for the construction sectors to do. Looks like they uh, immediately hired a decent uh, little bit of people. There we go. Turmoil, 36%. Yeah, you know what? I agree with you guys. You, you need more jobs out here, don't you? I don't know where you get fishing wharves from. Can't expand them, so it's fine. Alright. That'll help. Looks like turmoil is still kind of going up, which is very slow now. Yeah. Yeah. Like as a general rule. Like, we can pay the people so little here that we don't need to have any automation in these retail sectors, you know? We pay the people peanuts, we give them lots of jobs, and it works out. Fucking environmentalist. Yeah, got lots of ports. I got a couple extra mil. Alright. I still don't know how I got, like, less of a reserve currency than the fucking Americans. Uh. Oh well. Yeah. Do I need to keep what I've got here for this? Or are we alright? Size of government is minus 20. Uh, so we're at minus 90. Yeah? Okay. So we only have plus 94. Fair enough. Actually, discussions only managed to get up to like 83 so far, which is good. We'll get there yet. Yeah. 
don't know how their standard of living is only 9.4 here. Like, that should functionally be impossible? Yeah, like they have literally only one wealth. Okay, to be fair, for what it's worth... Basic food, intoxicants, and heating. What are they getting for heating? Yeah, electricity. Just about free. Intoxicants. Yep. And basic needs, so crops and livestock. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it looks like that takes care of a decent bit here. Mm hmm. We've done well. Like, we're once again growing our GDP at a fast enough rate to keep ahead of America. We're struggling still for, to even keep first place, though, which seems like bullshit. You know? Forbidden City in Beijing. Anything I can do with that, or is that just there? Yeah, it's just there. Fair enough. Sitting on the edge of a six secession revolt in Manchu. Oh, perfect. This is actually finally starting to get built. Yeah, we've blown through uh, all of my construction at this point, haven't we? Damn. We're good. Yeah, you, know, you should all... getting like your jobs now yeah. let's get you we just need to get you all employed ideally which often can be the hard part terminal is only 35 nice Even with the gulags and draconian policing, I'm glad we're still able to maintain, like, pretty solid birth rate. Yeah. 1.67%. Good news is, all of these poor people will have babies. Bad news, they probably won't really be able to read or write. So, that's deeply unfortunate. Alright, what the hell else can I build here that would help? Hundred levels of uh, retail and winery and brewery. Sure. We got twenty four million people unemployed. Like that's brutal. There's a reason I killed automation in China. Like trying to actually get these people jobs is gonna be pretty tricky. But, I mean, we're only at 34% turmoil now. And all we need, technically, to, I think, get rid of this revolt is below 33%. So, my development of the region should be fine. And, like, given it's this or starvation, I think all of these mines should get worked. Let's go. You know? Like, let's just get the region developed. Try to have enough for officers, but we struggle. This is going to be a problem here as well. But sure. Something 
think I can build... I think I can build some comm networks. Airport. Highway. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Really pouring development into this place to try and get it uh, up and running, but... I don't know, I'm hoping like people's standard of living overall should be going up. Looks like it's gonna succeed, there's nothing I can do. Well, that's okay. Tried our best. And I built a lot for them, so. larger. Honestly, one of the things I could do is try and conscript people from China into the army, but I'm really hesitant to do that because they can definitely rebel against me. Well, look at all these resources you can't use. Oh well. That's for another time, I think. Thank you everyone for watching. I've been your host, Gilden, Gilvin. I'll see you guys next time. Wow, shit, 11 billion. Nice. Take care, folks. Have a good night.